Hey guys, it's Jamie. I really encourage moms, especially new moms, to take a break from your children. I will say, I really, okay, as you can tell, I've already had a bath tonight. I need to finish doing my makeup or, or like my makeup off routine, but I've already, anyway, that's not what I'm talking about. Today, I'm trying to talk to you about um, getting me time. And I am lucky. I have a company that I work for that allows me to travel. And without that company, I probably would never, ever, ever have taken a trip away from my children. Yeah. And some of you are like, you are a crazy bitch. And you know what? You are right. I have a right to be away from my children. But I didn't feel that way in the beginning. My sister is like a super mom. Like, she's never taken a trip away from the kids. Her and her husband don't do dates. I, I, I don't know how they do it. It's been 13 years and they're still going strong. I mean, I just... I need that time. And I didn't realize I needed that time. I thought I was fine. I was like, I don't want to go on a work trip. I'm good. I'm good. I mean, my bosses had offered and I'm like, no, it's okay. I don't really need to come to this conference. Oh, how wrong I was. So about two years ago now, yeah, it's been two years, uh, two and a half years. My boss had offered to let me come to a sales convention for our company. And I was like, you know what? Sounds like a great idea. Let me make this happen. I was really nervous. I was sad. I was anxious. Like all of the feelings you would feel about leaving your babies for a long time. And it wasn't that long. It was like three nights, two nights. I'm like, it wasn't that bad. But in my mind, it was so long because I had never left them for that long. I was always like close to them so they could see me every day. The only time Jackson, my oldest JB, was ever away from me was um, when I had birth gave birth to cat to my youngest and then during chemo treatments and um surgeries that happened through the cancer treatments they spent the night with my sister but they always saw me every single day in person hugs kisses <coughs> i was traveling they couldn't hug and kiss me what now granted i'm lucky i live in an age of technology hello facetime skype it's amazing. Moms, use it. I'm serious. Use it. It's hard. The first trip was emotional. My youngest was, he's three now, so he's a little over a year old. And he was sad and he was mad. But you know what? He was okay. He was loved. He was safe. And the next few trips were easier. And this trip, I was like, hell yeah, I'll go. <laughs> Sign me up. And I'm always willing to travel now because for a few days, I am not mom. I am not wife. I am not a daughter. I am Jamie, who is fucking amazing at her job. Done. There's days that I'll falter, but at the end of the day, I'm pretty amazing at what I do. And I need to be reminded of that because at home, I feel like a complete bumbling idiot. Because I have two small children who make me feel like I'm the worst mother in the world all the time because they don't get what they want. So sometimes we need that break. Now, not everybody's as lucky as me. Not as lucky as me. Not everybody gets to go on a work trip. But I really encourage you, plan a trip with your friends. Plan a night out. I get every Monday night out for gymnastics. And I cannot tell you how much that has done for me and my mind and how it has made me a better wife, mother, and just overall employee, overall person. Alone time is a lot. So do whatever you need to do to get it. Travel, go, go away for an hour, do whatever you need to do. Seriously, do whatever you need to do to get alone time. Because if mama ain't happy, nobody happy. Now there's a reason why that saying is so predominant in our language. Because it's true. Moms, we set the tone for the house. We are able to do something that men are not able to do. We can set the tone for our entire house. If we are happy, everybody else falls in line. Even if they're grumpy, they fall in line because we're happy and we set the tone. We cannot set the tone if we're exhausted, if we're tired, if we don't get me time. And I know you single moms, I know you're struggling. Trust me, I know I see my friends and 
I wish I could do so much more for you guys because you struggle so hard because you don't have that person to lean on and say, hey, I'm walking away from the kids for a few days or I'm walking away from the kids for the next 30 minutes. You're in charge. I say that all the time. You're in charge. No, I'm not in charge. And I tell the kids, I'm not in charge. Daddy's in charge, not me. But you, single moms, can't do that. So I urge you to reach out to your friends, to your family, to whatever you need to do and set up a regular date. If you can afford it, babysitter, great. But most of us can't afford that shit every week. So if you can't, set up a time with a friend who loves you. Trade off. I'll take your kid this day if you'll take my kid this day. Whatever you need to do to get alone time, do it. Because if you are not happy, you are not content, you are not okay in your mind, you are not going to be okay for your kids. That is super duper important. We are raising the next generation. If we cannot control ourselves, if we cannot show them self-care is important, they're not going to realize it. The men we are raising are going to be like, my mama didn't need self-care. Why do you, wife? That's not okay. And the girls are going to be like, my mom never did self-care. Why do, Why? Why am I feeling like I'm a horrible mom? What Girls, I'm telling you, it's not okay. I rarely saw my mom do self-care. Rarely. And my sister rarely does self-care. And I'm not saying that as a detriment at all. Like, they are amazing women. They, they rock this shit. They don't need it. I do. So for a while, I felt like I was inadequate. I wasn't a good mom. I wasn't a good wife because I needed this. And I felt selfish for it until my friends and my therapist were like, you are not selfish for this. You have to have this. And they're right. I have always needed time to myself to recuperate. I'm an empath. I take on other people's feelings. I take on other people's energies. I need that time to recoup my energies to replenish myself, to be able to be good for my kids. I need that self-confidence that comes with doing gymnastics, which comes with going out to an office every once in a while. I'm not good in an office every single day. That really stresses me out. makes me a horrible mom and person all around. But going into an office once every three months, once a month, gives me just the boost I need to remember that I am relevant, I am important, I am smart, I am capable, I am pretty freaking awesome. And you are too. So do whatever you need to do to make yourself feel that way because that is where you should feel. You should have enough self-care to feel okay. You should have a job that makes you feel adequate. Awesome. Because we get beaten down at home by our kids. We shouldn't get beaten down anywhere else. So I urge you to advocate for yourself. Be aware of what you need and speak up when you need it because that's important. You are important and do not ever forget that you are super important. You are raising the next generation. That's a freaking important job. Go on with your bad self. Get this shit done. Signing off.